guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for returning for another video today i'm going to be cleaning this beautiful house if you guys are subscribed to my channel then you already know this is not my house although i wish it was it is not it is so beautiful though and i was so excited to show you guys which is why i am filming a cleaning video here for you are new to my channel welcome my name is Vantasia I am a stay-at-home mom to three beautiful children and I post motivational cleaning videos like this weekly so if you like videos like this give this video a big thumbs up also hit that red subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my future uploads Today I'm going to be cleaning those pretty neglected areas here in this kitchen. Areas that I don't like to clean in my own home but come on you guys this kitchen is so cute I didn't mind it one bit glancing at the house it doesn't look like it needs a huge deep clean so whenever the owner told me that he wants the whole house deep clean I was looking at him like what do you need me to do but then once I started to move around and see the corners and the tops of things I realized what he wanted me to do so I'm going to be doing the whole house deep clean not today today my main goal was just to come over and get a feel of things I started with the kitchen because at home that is my go-to place to start whenever I just want to see a clean place and see it clean fast plus the kitchen is like the heart of the home I feel like a lot of people spend a lot of time in the kitchen so whenever you go behind and clean up after people in the kitchen it can kind of tell you a lot about them and I felt like I needed to do this before I cleaned up any more of his house because I did not know what to expect honest though and don't get me wrong I know that there are a lot of men that clean around the house but for him to be a man living in this house himself you know with his son the house was pretty clean and I was really surprised the cleaning products that I use will be listed down in my description box. So I'm not doing a deep clean of the kitchen right now. I am just cleaning things and as I see them, I am cleaning it. Like I said, I am just here to get a feel of things and see what I am up against you guys. I'm wiping the fronts and tops of cabinets. I can't wait for you guys to see this up close. On the camera, it looks really good, but up close, you can see everything that I'll be working with, and you guys will see that in just a second. I've never cleaned real granite countertops before. Mistakes were made, but in the end, I went through and wiped everything down with a warm rag. home it's pretty normal for London to follow me around everywhere but while we were here you guys she was literally right next to my hip the whole entire time I think it's safe to say but for Christmas I'm going to get London a toy kitchen because I promise you guys anytime I'm cleaning or doing anything London is right next to me doing it too Now that I am finally done cleaning the backsplash, you guys, I can finally talk about it. I really like the backsplash in this kitchen. This is cute, and I would have loved to have this in my kitchen, but once I was cleaning it and realizing how hard it was to clean, I could not imagine having this type of backsplash in my kitchen. Messy cooker. Let me know if you are a messy cooker. For myself, so much food would end up on this backsplash, and I would hate to clean it, and it would just look disgusting. So if I were to recommend this to anybody, I would not because it is really hard to clean. You guys, from a distance, everything looks so great. When you get up close and you see all the nitty gritty areas, everything just needs a deeper and proper clean. my favorite parts about this kitchen it has to be the lights that are under the cabinets you guys that is so cool to me I also saw Jessica add lights to her kitchen and now I want to add lights to my kitchen I feel like looking at this house and seeing the lights under the cabinets it was just the icing on the cake so I really want to get lights now
You guys, walking into this house and cleaning this house and spending some of my days in this house, it has brought a whole new experience to the date night, drive around, looking at nice houses and cars type of deal. I don't know about y'all, but for me, some days my husband and I, we will go out and just drive around to look at the nice houses and being inside one of the nice houses that we've seen, it feels so nice and it just brings a whole new experience. If you feel like I've been cleaning this kitchen forever, yeah, me too, girl. I do too. This kitchen was so hard to clean because the countertops and the backsplash, I'm telling y'all, it was really hard. So if you feel like I've been doing it forever, it's because I did it for a long time, girl. guys i absolutely love this stove i will be honest i've never really seen a stove that doesn't have an oven underneath it so this was a little new for me it was nice to see the stove and the oven like separated but i thought it was really cool that there were two drawers underneath the stove so you could put your pots and pans and lids and things like that i thought that was really neat So if you guys are wondering, I am using like a plastic dish sponge. It was a clean, of course, to clean the stove because there was like some plastic built up onto the stove. I don't know how it got there. You guys remember, I don't live in this house, so I don't know how this mess occurred. However, I had to clean it and it was not easy to clean. So I used like a plastic sponge brush that you would use on dishes and it worked really well. I know someone's gonna say it. Oh my gosh, you've been cleaning this kitchen forever, girl. When are you gonna move on to the next thing? And girl, I'm trying, okay? But this kitchen was just too much to clean. And you know, whenever you are cleaning someone else's space, it's actually a lot different than when you're cleaning your own space. So it took me forever, girl. Trust me, I was ready to be done too. Guys, for your handles on your stove, whenever you take those off, I don't know if they're actually called handles, but I know someone will correct me in the comments. But when you take those off, I would advise that you get like a bottle brush to clean the inside of that out because as I was cleaning his stove, I noticed that there were a lot of crumbs and built up food left behind in the little holes. So I would just advise to take a baby brush and clean those out. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me asking if I have back problems or knee problems because I'm always bending down and things like that. Well, listen, y'all, I'm only 20, so I don't have any back problems or knee problems yet, but I am going to let y'all know that I am on my knees quite a bit. I do not want to make this awkward. Oh my gosh, that came up so awkward, you guys, but whenever I clean, I am always bending down. I guess I don't really think about it whenever I'm in the moment and I'm cleaning and I have to bend down or bend over or you know, sit on my knees for a while, I never really think about it. Guys, I just wanna let you know, during the time of me filming, cleaning the microwave, 
my husband was standing in the corner cracking up like I really thought he was going to pee his pants because I was moving so awkwardly while I was cleaning the microwave I was almost upside down trying to clean so you guys could see it and my husband just thought it was so funny but if you are a youtuber then you know it's all about those angles girl I really love where the microwave and the oven is in this kitchen. I feel like it's really convenient. And I also love the fact that whenever you're cleaning the stove, you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to clean the oven. You can just pop right on over to the left side of you and just wipe it out. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to tell y'all a little secret about me. So whenever I am just really, really mad and I cannot talk myself down, I go on Pinterest and I look at refrigerator organization and it makes me cry, but I cry happy tears because it's so nice seeing an organized fridge, food and things like that all in order, colorful order, you guys. It just makes me so extremely happy. I promise if I did not care about my YouTube channel, I would not share that I cry tears of joy over an organized fridge, okay? But anyways, I love this fridge. I wish I had a big fridge like this so I can cry happy tears of my own fridge organization, but hey, my time will come. y'all are probably tired of me talking about this kitchen but oh my gosh this whole entire house is like goals like it's so beautiful and the whole time i was cleaning this kitchen island y'all all i could think about was man thanksgiving would be so amazing just imagine you guys this island cleared off and all thanksgiving food on the island oh my gosh doesn't it make your mouth water Y'all, we kept trying to move London, but she was not having it, okay? She was going to be next to me whether I liked it or not. So here she is throughout this whole entire clip. I know a lot of you guys have been saying that you miss her, but she's still the same old, same old London next to mama wherever she goes getting into everything.
I told my husband a long time ago whenever we move into our own home that I really do want a deep kitchen sink, but I never realized until we got to this house and I started cleaning how much I actually really want a deep kitchen sink. Oh my gosh, it took washing dishes or doing anything in the sink to a whole new level. Having a super deep kitchen sink, a bigger sink, oh my gosh, it was lovely. two lights that are above the kitchen island I so wanted to clean those today because they really do need a deep cleaning but I did not do that today I had to save that until the next time as you guys see London is moving around so much it was so hard to get anything else done in this house because at this point in time the kids were just being real wiggle worms and not only that but it was around witching hour if you don't know what witching hour is that just means that it is like five o'clock in the evening your kids are acting crazy you want to pull your hair out and we were not home so i had to slowly start wrapping things up london was moving around in the chair so much even though this day is already done and over with and i know she didn't fall as i was watching this video back I am like sitting on the edge of my seat right now. Like, oh my gosh, London, just sit down so you don't fall. You guys, I cannot believe that this girl moves this much. These two drawers I did not notice until the very end of the cleaning so I decided to go ahead and organize them as well because I thought these drawers were so cool so I had to show you guys this part. I wanted to show you guys this because this is my dirt cheap way of organizing things especially when I don't have organizers for the things that I'm organizing okay. So what I like to do with the pots and pans and the lids, I like to put everything in a category of its own. So as you guys saw, I put all the lids together, but I can also see every single lid. So that way, whenever I go to grab a lid, I can just grab it and I know which one that I'm grabbing. When it comes to the pots, pans, and saucers, I like to put those things however I use them. So I know for me, whenever I'm making like spaghetti or fried chicken, I already know what pot or pan or saucer I'm going to use. So I will put all three of those things in a stack together. So whenever I'm cooking, I already know what pot, pan or saucer or anything like that I'm going to use. So I like for all of those things to be in a stack together so I can just grab them and go. Now moving on to the living room, I mean it was pretty well clean, but of course my kids had toys everywhere. I had to dust the blinds because those really needed to be dusted. I will show you guys at the end how that looks because I'm telling you guys that, that was pretty bad. So I just went ahead and speed cleaned through this. At this point guys, the kids were just over it. Jonah was crying because he wanted to be held. London was ready to come home. And Jaden, well Jaden really didn't care because he had a friend to play with. So it was really only London and Jonah, but they were just over it, you guys. You guys, I love this rug so, so much. It made me happy to see this rug in this house because I got to fill it, vacuum it, and everything like that because the rug that I have picked out for our house is almost like this rug and now I can't wait to get it. You guys, this entryway is literally everything. I absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Those of you that have made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for always watching my videos all the way through. You guys mean so much to me. I can't believe that I have a group of friends here on YouTube that truly support me in every single video that I post. So thank you guys so much for that. 
If you guys would like to see another video, maybe a house tour, a whole house clean with me, give this video a big thumbs up and I will get that filmed and out for you guys. So now I am going to finish cleaning the blondes because I mean, what else is there to do after you get done vacuuming other than cleaning the blondes? So that's what I'm doing now, you guys. Don't laugh at me. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you all in my next video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my future uploads.